90s. Mario 64 was the hottest game in the N64 library. However, on Faithful Day, Nintendo released their next entry in the Zelda series, Ocarina of Time. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, the first 3D Zelda game to ever exist. Ocarina of Time, without a doubt, is the most popular Zelda game of all time. For the two people out there who don't know what the story is, the story is about Hyrule, of course, but the main focus is the Kokiri Forest, protected by the Great Deku Tree. The Kokiri Forest is ruined by children who never age, kind of like the lost children from Peter Pan. Anyway, each child is protected by a guardian fairy. However, there is one child who does not have a fairy. That fairy is known as Link. One day, the Deku Tree informs Navi the fairy that a curse has been put on him and only Link can remove it. And this is where the game begins. People were blown away when they first laid eyes on the graphics of this game. It was revolutionary and stuff. This game was the beginning of the new mechanic for Zelda Z targeting. Finally, you could focus on an object from a distance and make combat much easier for you. You still press the B button for the sword, but now you can hold up the three items at once with the C buttons. Your shield also has better use this time around. You're, you still reflect projectiles, but this time you can actually defend yourself with it. Finally! Once you defeat the monster inside the Deku Tree, the Deku Tree tells you how Hyrule was created and the origins of the Triforce. He or she or it then gives you the Kokiri Emerald and tells you to go see Princess Zelda. You head to Hyrule Castle and meet Zelda, and that's all the story you're gonna get. Overall, Zelda Ocarina of Time is a fantastic game. I highly recommend it to people new to Zelda.